Queenie May is supposed to be pregnant, right? So this is the thing, you know, remember before she didn't want to have a baby with her boyfriend? I don't know, Freddie Styles? I don't know, okay, whoever that white man is, I don't know. But now that she didn't have this hip-hop pickle or this rapper pickle, let me tell y'all something. Rapper pickle will change your life. Hey, smoke! Oh! If you have not already done so, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube. And if you do not have an investment slash retirement plan in place through your employer, please check out the Acorn app below. Find out how Google can work for you. Now, let's talk about the real. I was down there listening to my YouTube sister, right, Layla Lynn. That's my boo. I love her. She always help me whenever I reach out. Layla, girl, I need some help, girl. This video over here is struggling. I need you. Just help me out and post me on her uh, community wall. She has soared past me, but I think that's because she she's more... Uh, she doesn't, you know, she, she's more grounded in her work. Her work is more solid and thorough. Me, all I want to do is crack a gym. Anyway, what we're going to talk about today is The Real. Layla loves that show. I, the reason why I don't like that show is because I don't like that hussy, Lonnie Love. I don't like her. And it's not because she's a cancer, because most of my, um, most of my um, 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 BFFs, every BFF that I've had in the world is a cancer. But that means that I see you, bitch. I know how you hussies move, hussies. And what happens is Lonnie Love wants to be the mama bear on the show. She's the oldest, she's a comic, and she's a cancer. So I believe that they bump heads a lot in there. Because although Lonnie Love is the oldest... And the cancer, the mama bear, I believe that the rest of them hoes be like this. Look, girl, you ain't in charge of me. I got my own mammy. Even though okay. you look like my mammy, you ain't my mammy. Okay? But I digress. So, I was looking at my sister's community wall and lead it, lead it, lord it, lord it. Guess who's joining the real permanently? In 2020, but that daggone Amanda Seals, oh, I love her. Oh, and I didn't know that she was a cancer too, but I love her. Oh, I love this. This is going to be like Clash of the Titans. What you have is a younger cancer that's educated, who is also a comic, okay? So when Lonnie Love be throwing her little slick shade and her little, you know, little smart remarks in here and there, oh, that Amanda Seals got her. Ooh, I could dance. I could stand up right now and do a jig. But if y'all don't know who Amanda Seals is, let me help you out. So she's this bad mother hunchy, right? Let me get my notes, y'all, because I don't want to get this but wrong. But anyway, let me stop acting a fool, right? So anyway, let me give you this bitch's, I mean, this lady's accolades, okay? So Amanda Seals um, has a master's. Ooh, 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 ooh. In African American studies with a concentration in hip hop. Oh! Lonnie Love has a degree too in electrical engineering, bitch. In electrical engineering. That means that not only is Amanda Seals um, educated, but she's educated in pop culture and hip hop. And that's what that show needs. That show needs somebody that's smart enough to stand 10 toes planted and say, now let me give you the real. Your opinion, and this is what they taught me in college at University of the District of Columbia. Shout out to Professor Jones who told me this. Your opinion doesn't matter. Only facts. Oh! I'm going to start watching this show in 2020, y'all. I am so freaking excited. Did I just drink some coffee? Is this coffee just kicking in? So... Anyway, right? So that means you're going to have a person who can stand on facts about pop culture. Because you know that's what them hoes talk about, sitting around the couch. 
or oh, sitting around a table, you know, they just give their opinions. It's fine. They do the exact same thing that the bloggers do. You heard me. All these talk shows do the exact same thing that the bloggers do. Oh, but they hate us. You know that? They hate us. Because they feel like we put out lies about the... I wonder if they're talking about Tasha. So listen, they was, you know, they sit around the table and they give their opinions, right? But you know the people's mad at us. Okay, they mad at us. Now, I guess because you have a platform on a network television, then you, um, you know, that's the reason why, you know, you think that what you do is better than what we do. But anyway, the fact of the matter why I love Amanda Seals is because Amanda Seals has been a part of the culture that they have opinions on. Okay, because that's what they do. Sit around the table, talk about everybody else, and get their goddamn opinion. You have somebody that is connected to real life because I can't stand a bitch that always got something to say about somebody else and don't know not a mother hunchy thing about what they talking about. Which one of them damn girls know anything about hip hop except for Jeannie Mae? And she just got a hip hop pickle. Speaking of that, girl. Speaking of that. Now, you know Jeannie Mae is supposedly pregnant, right? You know that's the T on Jeannie Mae, right? Oh, my God. I am all over the place today. So You know Jeannie Mae is supposed to be pregnant, right? So this is the thing. You know, remember before she didn't want to have a baby with her boyfriend? I don't know. Freddie Styles? I don't know. Okay, whoever that white man is. I don't know. But now that she didn't have this hip-hop pickle or this rapper pickle, let me tell y'all something. Rapper Pickle will change your life. Anyway, now that she's getting this Rapper Pickle child, now she's been contemplating having a baby. You know why? Because it's Rapper Pickle. And let me tell you something. Jeezy is a Libra. You heard me. We know who the hell to mess with and who the hell to stand next to. The best thing she, Jeezy has done for his career, you hear me, was to go over there. Say hello to Jeannie Mae. Hello, Jeannie Mae. I like hip-hop, and I'm trying to see what's up with you, Jeannie Mae. Well, I don't know. You know, I'm not, I don't know. You, I, I, I just came out of a divorce. I don't know. You know, and then, you know, with her boyfriend or her ex-husband, what's his name, Freddie Prince, something like that. I don't know, um, Frank Oz, something like that. She ain't even had sex with him, like, before the merge. They didn't live together. Nothing. You know, Jeezy ain't having that. Oh, no, girl. Oh, no. You you think because you Jeannie May, I'm going to wait on that vagina? Girl. Girl. That didn't happen. Yeah, she was so happy to get that rapper pickle. I'm telling you, rapper pickle. Listen to me talking like I've had rapper. Oh, did I have rapper pickle? Because you know how this goes, you know. The rumors was out. Media takeout. You know them. I don't mess with media takeout. But if it's plausible, when they said that sources contacted media takeout and was like, yeah, you need to start uh, taping Jeannie Mae at certain angles when she start gaining weight because we need to make her look slimmer for the 2020, right? Jeannie Mae's representative came out and said, no, that is absolutely a lie. You're a goddamn liar. You're a li Do you know how many God dang on time? First of all, regular women don't like to say that they're pregnant because it's like, uh, not me, I ain't never been pregnant before, but I've been explained this by pregnant bitches, right? Okay? So, of course, the bitch gonna say, no, I ain't pregnant, right? Because what I didn't know was that they don't like to really say that they're pregnant just in case they have a miscarriage, um, like within the first trimester, How many celebrities we know that said no, they wasn't pregnant, and two months later, them bitches as big as a house? Fuck you, Jeannie Mae is pregnant. She just don't want y'all hoes to know. Let's get back, because child, I done went all the way to the left with this. So let me tell you something else that I didn't know about Amanda Seals. That her ass replaced the rapper girl from Floor Tree um, with Marsha Ambrosia, and she was on tour with them for a little while, child. I forget her name, child. Well, I didn't know that, okay? I didn't know that, because I didn't, you know, I didn't know. That's all I'm going to say. But after that, she started doing stand-up comedy. Ooh, I love it. Two comedians, and it's going to be fun, because it's going to be like slick shade. Uh, uh, uh. Like how, uh, what show is that? With Whoopi Goldberg and that white girl that everybody hate. Everybody got to play the villain, baby. You need a villain, because them ladies at that table is too nice. You hear me? Except for Lonnie Love. Except for that bitch. She's the bitch on the show. I am the bitch on the show, and I own it. Well, guess what, bitch? 
It's gonna be two of y'all on a goddamn show now. I am excited. I'm gonna be here. So we're not gonna say. So I ain't gonna say that the whole week. I'm not going to say that because we, you know this hussy from Detroit, okay? We know she from Detroit now, down there to the Bruce Place Projects. Why did I say the Bruce Place Projects? Well, anyway, you know that's where, you know, all the singers and dancers come from, from out of Motown, the Bruce's Place, or around the Bruce's Place. Y'all remember that movie, Bruce Place, with Jack A. Hurry? I ain't never. Seen a movie. I, why, they, why they don't play that shit on the TV no more? You have not already done so. Please like, share, and subscribe. Because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube. Now, remember this. The same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people that you meet on the way down, naysayers, my patron loves. Have a good one. Deuce.